Hello and welcome back to another experiment and today's experiment we are going to plunge the top six teams in the premiership into one billion pounds in the red and on top of that we're going to reduce their reputation right down to one and we're going to give it around about 10 to 15 seasons to find out what happens be really interested to see if they get that reputation back up will they be able to keep some of their high profile players as well we are using an updated version of the football manager from uh, fm scout with the new transfers and uh, relegations and promotions as you can see nottingham forest are in this division so are fulham and bournemouth so will they overtake the top six as was shall we say so first off, so let's have a quick look at Arsenal. Arsenal, just as proof, £1 billion in the red. They have got no um, budgets at all. They are reputation down to one, but finances, £1 billion in red, and they've got nothing. They've got no money. They're a £1 billion in the red. And the same will go for the rest of the uh, top six. So you've got Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City, arguably Man United currently, <laughs> and uh, Tottenham Hotspur as well so without any further ado let's get this experiment started it'd be interesting to see what happens so we'll just fly straight through we'll do say 15 seasons and see what happens when we come back right we've simulated we've gone through 15 seasons in fact and uh, we're just going to have a look at the current premiership now man city have won the league so they're still in the premiership whether or not they uh, bounced back and forth between the divisions, I'm not sure. But let's have a look at other teams that are still in there from the top six. Liverpool, Chelsea, that's three. Um, what about the two? Uh, what about Man United, Spurs and Arsenal? Where are they? Um, okay, neither three of them are. So three of them, which you would expect, City, Liverpool and Chelsea, they're doing relatively well. Where's the rest of them? The championship. Let's have a look through there. Any of our two. So we'll do it from the Oh, Arsenal. Arsenal aligned 20th after season 15. So we'll have a look, a close look at them in just a second as well. So they're currently in the championship. And, uh, well, there's no Man United or Spurs there. Okay, so we'll go down another division more. Spurs, it looks like they've just got promoted from League One. Wow, okay. And United are in League One as well. Oh, my Lord. Let's start off with uh, what's happened in the Premiership first. And then we'll come back. And uh, United and Tottenham will be the last two teams we'll look at, I think. So, let's start off with Man City, then, who won the Premiership. So, first off, then, with Man City, let's have a quick look at their finances. We'll just jump into the team. And uh, we'll have a quick gander. So £66 million to spend, £51 million and what? So let's have a look at debts. Still a net debt of £128 million, which isn't an awful lot. But they did have a company voluntary agreement of £296 million pound, uh, debt there, which they are repaying back. And uh, £153 million pound left to spend. Okay, so transfer debt, a seven. So it's not looking too bad, but they are... Um, Still in debt, though. Well, we left them in the Premiership. Did they ever drop out? I don't think they ever dropped out of the Premiership. I think they're that good. We'll have a look at transfers as well, see if they actually lost them. They finished as low as fifth, but they have won it. I mean, they've managed to get themselves back to um, back to normal, but Premiership wins 19. Wow, from... I mean, from 21, 22, 23, 26, 8, 29, 30. I mean, they have been phenomenal, haven't they, really, Man City? Have they won anything else? They haven't won the uh, Champions League. The FA Cup, they've won a few, fair few times as well. Um, they haven't been relegated. They've won the Carabao a few, a few times as well. The, the Community Shield, yeah, they've won that as well. Uh, that's the Champions League, isn't it? 36, they have won the Champions League. They've just won the Champions League. That's incredible. 2036, wow. So they've not really been out of the Premiership at all. They've managed to somehow, despite that debt, wow, I think they've been um, playing better than ever. They had an unbeaten season in the 34-35 uh, season. Have they had another one? No, they haven't. They did lose 10 games in one season, though. Still finishing third. So transfer history, they haven't really lost anybody, really, to be fair. They didn't make any transfers, which is probably understandable. 
the following season again no transfers but only, they let go of 86 million who did they let go John Stones he went to uh, Atletico Madrid uh, that is about it for any big players. If we're looking for the likes of Haaland, etc. £27 million gone the following season. Uh, Kyle Walker and Mares go in. They do start buying in the 24-25 season. £115 million and £114 million spent. Rafinha and um, Bjorken. But the £11 million let go. Okay, nothing really significant there. Two hundred and sixty-eight million pounds spent there, though. Wow, that's that's crazy. Tammy Abraham's window as well. Uh, Godfrey, I mean, some Arthur Teet as well. I think he's a very, very good defender from Rennes. Uh, One hundred twelve million pound let go though. Phil Foden, he's gone to Real Madrid for seventy-three to eighty-eight million pound. Alvarez, Burns, Esbrand. Okay, we'll just keep going. £173 million spent there again for Farner this time, uh, being about £60 million. They've got some bits. I mean, they are making some decent um, signings. Uh, who they let go? Blanco, uh, Bjork. I mean, didn't they only just get him in as well? Litkvinov, Sanchez, Ake. Okay, some big players. Um, Anybody else? £170 million a year after. I mean, they are spending money really big, aren't they? Pellegrini from Dortmund, but uh, Cliver, uh, Pabiga as well. Okay, big, big players. Uh, £100 million let go. Uh, Cucurello, Canate, Phillips, correct. Okay, so no... Uh, where are these big players that this that they did have? Did they retire, I'm wondering? We are going... For, De Bruyne has gone. He went for £5.5 million to Sassuolo. 28-29 uh, season. £142 million spent, though. Had I do for Montpellier uh, for uh, £52 million. They are still continuing to spend big on Man, uh, Man City, though. That's um, that's just crazy. Uh, let's have a look at their £20 million for Zoles as well. Any uh, players that they um, had before? £72 million there and Kunku. Wow. Again, £180 million spent. They're not shy of spending money at all, are they? But they do release 238 worth of talent. £174 million for Pablo Nieto as well. Wow. And skip 47. That's mad. Buy Munich. £174 million. That's... Wow. £127 million there. £80 million let go as as well. £50 million for Zengen. Ruben Diaz, he went for 13 million to Atletico. 98 million pounds spent uh, the following season. I mean, wow. Okay, duh. From, from Chelsea, in fact. And uh, who else is there? Uh, nobody really of note. Wendell, he went to Newcastle for 15. Roberto to Hertha Berlin. 176 million pounds spent here. Wow, who's that? 60 million on Scrivener from Watford. 59 million for Matteo. From Dortmund. I mean, they are still... I mean, they're keeping the spenders. 166... 142 million pound Rosano goes to Barcelona. 166 million pounds spent there. I mean, that... That's just phenomenal. I mean, in fact, how what players have they currently got then? If we just have a look. Um, Position-wise, we've got Dez, Okora. I mean, anybody from... From a long time ago... Wow, okay. I don't think there is. I think they have all gone for Farners there. I don't think Erling Haaland is still there. Still playing at thirty five years old. They're not letting him go at all. Right, let's delve into Liverpool now then. Let's have a look at their finances. They're currently still in the premiership, but we'll have a look at their finances first. Hundred thirty nine million pound in the bank, eighty five million pounds to spend currently, so we are after the fifteen seasons. So, any debts? Not as much. That's not bad at all. I mean, they did have an original debt of £374 million, to, um, obviously, running costs, possibly. They had that in 2021. So, right at the very beginning, decided to uh, have some loans in to try and start paying off some debts and stuff. So, that's not too bad. It looks like they haven't been out of the Premiership either. I mean, falling as low as 8th. But they haven't won it. They've been up and down, to be fair. Champions League, not won it. Uh, the English Premiership, they've not won it since 24-27. So they've won it twice in this period. The World Club Championship, Europa. I mean, they have won the Europa League, though, a fair few times. Three times, 28, 33 and 35. 
Super Cup, haven't won that since. Uh, FA Cup, they've won that three times. Carabao Cup, they've won that a fair few times as well. So we have a look at their domestics then. So 2021 all the way uh, down here. Third, second. I mean, hanging in there right at the very beginning of the deck. I mean, didn't really come out of the top 10. They did win it there uh, with 11 losses. Wow, that's just crazy as well. Um Again, they are a team that's being beaten, a fair few, but they uh, they have struggled to get into the top four even, uh, the last time being in 28-29. So they have been struggled, teetering on the edge in fifth position though. Right, the question being then with the transfers, of how well have they done? Only £17 million let go in the first season. Uh, Calvin Ramsey goes to Watford for half a mil, but and uh simcast goes to leicester that's about it so let's have a look the following season it looks like they may have had an embargo maybe not bringing anybody in but they have let a uh, 71 million pound worth of talent go with firmino going to atletico madrid for 42 million pound obviously trying to raise some funds the following season they right they start spending 50 million pounds vermin and abraham uh paulos abraham that is from croningen uh, 48 million pound let go. Who did they let go? Darwin Nunes got, went to buy Munich for 47 million pounds. That's not a lot. Ahmad Diallo from Watford, who he obviously went to Watford from United, 37 million pound, and Cuesta as well. They let go of 32 million pounds. They're not letting it go of too much. Uh, Ibra Ibrahima Canate, he's gone to Dortmund for 31. 175 million pounds spent though. Uh, a few more seasons in. So we've got Livermento from Southampton. Kessie from Barcelona. With uh, Piccolo as well from Leicester. And uh, a couple of other players as well. And uh, out the out the door go uh, Gulo and um, Madueke as well to uh, Newcastle there. So going through the uh, transfers. Nothing really massively. £40 million Brenner from Aston Villa. And uh, £35 million let go as well. £30 million uh vermin he's gone to milan 79 million pound brought in once more so they are still spending but not on the same basis of man city wow man city are just absolutely crazy they do take but canate off man city for 28 million pound though uh, 91 million pound out the door 27 amad diallo goes to dortmund so they do make something i think uh bentrancourt um Palace Abraham goes to Inter for 10. 25 minutes. They're very, very reserved with their spending are uh, Liverpool. So I'm assuming they're buying their time. 60 million out the door. Uh, Oko for 45 million pound. He goes to Bayern. Bayern Munich seem to be buying up some of these big, big players though. 75 million pound. Um, main one being Zabari from Kiev. 29 million pound out the door. Again, nothing significant. Joe Gomez, he goes. Uh, getting into the 2030s now, 69 million pounds. Yeah, they're very reserved with their spending there. I give them credit for that. Fitzpatrick from PSG. But it's not buying them any success though, is it? At all. Um, out the door goes um, Lokongo, Velasquez, Cuesta, Stefanovic from Southampton. I mean, some other players as well. I'm assuming some of these are regions. Uh, 66 million pound out the door, Hilson, and uh, 24 Ramos as well. He goes. Um, Salah, he's gone to Munch and Gladbach for 2.6 million pounds. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, how old is Salah now? He's retired now, but 200 goals for Liverpool in 463 games. That's a uh, that's just amazing. 84 million pounds spent again. 33 million on Gomez from Benfica. Uh, second final season, hundred million pounds. Wow. Okay. Uh, who was the most one? Fraser Sharp, Angelo from Chelsea. One hundred thirty million pound has gone though. Bergamaschi, he's gone to Real Madrid for a hundred mil. Brenner, he's gone for thirteen. Nesta Nunes, he only just got bought the other season, I think. Kessie, he's gone to Frankfurt for one point eight million. So they are keeping players right up until. Uh, they're, they're older, those. £51 million spent the following season. Uh, really nothing massively there. Oh, Guedes. Uh, I don't think it's the Guedes, though. Uh, £50 million going out the door as well. So they're virtually netting out. Um, and then the final season, 
They uh, only spent £25 million. Very, very reserved, it has to be said. And uh, out the door, £112 million. Gomez has gone for £180 million to Real Madrid. So the uh, the Spanish clubs are really... And uh, the other... Well, the top European clubs are really cleaning up house here. So who have they got left in the squad, if, uh, if at all? I'm assuming a lot of them will be retired at this point. Uh, if we start from the top... Um, again, we ought to see how, what most of these players... Trent Alexander-Arnold, he's still playing. He's still around. I'm assuming a lot of the, the other players have re actually retired. Harvey Arrugia, is that the chap from Barcelona, possibly, maybe? Um, Angelo, he's uh, Philip Poulsen. There's only Trent Alexander-Arnold that I recognise. Right, moving on to Chelsea's finances. Then let's have, they've got 100 million, 75 to spend... But what is their debts and loans? So right at the beginning, they did bring in £306 million on the company voluntary agreement, which they are still paying off up until 2051 at a million pound a month. So they, they're still in debt, net debt of 39, but not as much as everybody else. 51 transfer debt, though. Okay, that's probably more than what the others are on, but £39 million net debt. Doesn't seem an awful lot, does it? Looking at what they've done then over the past 15 years and Champions League, they did win it in 2021 right at the very beginning when they just got into debt. Have they won the champ? Um, no, they haven't won the Premiership. Cup Winners' Cup? Uh, Europa League? No. Super Cup? No. FA Cup, have they won that? No. So they've only won the Champions League, which is quite decent actually i don't think oh they have won the carabao a couple of times as well so it doesn't look like they've been out of the premiership either so if we just have a look at their competitions as well so 2021 right down here fourth third i mean they have been teetering around about the top six sixth is the lowest they've actually been and it's not been that bad actually to be perfectly honest a few times second but apart from that they have been holding their own and um to be fair, they've done reasonably well. I mean, it's not going to be long before they're going to start winning again. But again, they're doing what they're doing now. Not really out of the top three, uh, apart from the season just gone. Right, transfers. So they did spend some money in the uh, first window. So in the first season. But uh, let go of £61 million. £40 million. Ask me... Coetta, I can't say his name, but I still can't. Uh, he's gone to Newcastle for £41 million. Emerson went to Everton. They let go of Thiago Silva. Anybody else in there? Harvey Vale, Webster, Xavier Simons, he's gone. Um, Billy Gilmore, he, he's gone. Uh, they're all loanies. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the following season, 23 minutes, quite reserved. But the uh, £40 million doesn't seem an awful lot either, does it really? Any big score, uh, people? Watford by um, Billy Gilmore in the end must have been part of the deal. Following season, again, pretty reserved. Marcus Alonso, he's gone to FLA on a free. But apart from that, nothing... For the first few seasons, they've done relatively well keeping players. But the start spending in the 24-25 season, £45 million on Endica from Frankfurt. £45 million. Wow, that's not bad going at all. Release 55 just to uh, half balance the books. But... Uh, Havertz, he went to Real Madrid for £50 million. And Zayek, he's gone to Huesca for 75000 Wow, hardly seems worth it, does it? They spend £139 million uh, this season, though. Tillman uh, from Cologne, £56 million, And Alvarez from Man City for 31 They also get Polina from Fulham as well. Angelo from uh, uh, SAN also. £43 million let go. Anderson, Hudson Adoy, he's gone to Newcastle for 12. 250 million pounds. Wow. 56 on Chowdhury from Leicester. Ruan from Sassuolo, 32. Chotard from Montpellier. A couple of players from Man City as well. Um, well, 250 million. But the only let go of 45 million pounds. Polina, Ben Chilwell, he's gone as well. Alvarez. Okay, some of the bigger players now uh, being released or being replaced, more like. Uh, they spent 163 million pounds the, the, the season after. Thomas from Sporting, uh, 110 million pounds uh, has gone. Tiemann's gone 53. Uran's gone for 20 as well. 194 million. Okay, they're, they're not shy with the spending, are they? Divine from Almera. Santos from Aston Villa. 14. 
Uh, 44 million pound Gabriel from Sporting and Braga Fernandes as well. 76 million pound the other way. Litvinov. Raheem Sterling has gone to Leverkusen for 26 million pounds. 29 30 season then. So uh, about nine seasons in. 44 million pound. Quite reserved. I think they've. Uh, didn't really need to. Dean Henderson though. They get from Liverpool. 17 million pound let go. Not an awful lot called Palmer Chowdhury. Romelu Lukaku has gone to Hertha Berlin on a free. £184 million pounds spent um, in the 30-31. We've skipped from Man City. Cordes from Benfica. Moore from Watford. Andre Gomez from Benfica there. £40 million pound let go though. So they're not really balancing the books that much but by the looks of things. Uh, any big players? No, not really. Uh, Lozano, he's gone to Wolfsburg on a free. £79 million. A little bit more reserved this time round. Marcus Leonardo, £28 million. Um, Francis from Inter. They let, do let go of 121 Who did they release? Uh, Velasquez, he's gone to Newcastle for 84 Tika, Tavares, £212 million spending 30 So they're not shy with the spending at all. Vidovic from Real Madrid for 54 Lopez from Paploma. Fring Pong from Leverkusen. Wow, some uh, decent signings there. Only £57 million pound going with Durr going to Man City. And Liam Delap, one of the youngsters that um, I think he's a forward he can play. He's gone to Brentford for the, up to £18-19 million. Wow. Not much happening that, that season. £61 million let go this, this season. So uh, it's uh, Gara Yield, I think. Angelo's gone to Liverpool. And uh, coming up to the final couple of seasons, £149 million pounds, uh, spent there. Anybody of note? Ben Musa from Lapzig. Not really big uh, spenders, but they're getting a few more players in there. Tra Tariq Lamptey from Man City for one6 156 out the door, though. Uh, Zelitor, he's gone to Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich have, seem to have a lot of money. They seem to mop up with big, big spenders. Uh, Lapis has gone to Lapzig. Any other really? Not really. And then the final season, £83 million. Uh, Cortazar, 32 from Barcelona. And £29 million ham from Real Madrid. But they do let go of 195 More Rivas, Pesana, Cordas. I mean, it's a lot of money let go. I suppose it's just to balance the books a little bit. So they have let go of more than they have brought in over the last, well, last uh, three seasons. By looks of things, probably just to balance up and just keep them in the Premiership. But they've done remarkably well. I'm not going to lie. Arsenal then. Let's have a look at these guys. They are teetering at the bottom of the Championship. So uh, I, mean, I don't think they were relegated. I think they just missed relegation. So first off, finances. Four hundred million pounds in the bank, and they've not really used it. Wow! They've got a transfer budget of one hundred and ninety-three million pounds. Oh my word! That is. Are they out of debt then? Wow! They are out of debt. Arsenal have got no debt. I mean, two million transfer debt. Pff, that's nothing. They've got no loans or anything. They've financially they've been managed pretty well. I mean, do they have any uh, sponsorships actually? Not significantly. It's not an awful lot, is it, really? So, over the 15 seasons, then, despite the fact that they are out of debt and they've got a whopping 400 million, so they stayed in the Premiership for as long as they could. I mean, look, I mean, it's really bad, isn't it? Championship, Championship, Championship. So, they haven't been out of the Championship, so that's good news. Okay, so 2021, they... Uh, where you would expect Arsenal to be just round about the top 10. And then things started going wrong in the 26-27 season where they started teetering near the bottom and they finally succumbed in 19th position, second from bottom in the fact. 29 points though. Did lose a whopping 25 games. Wow. Minus 38 goals. You don't associate that. But they have struggled in the championship uh, to be sure. But wow, that's... Um, They've really struggled, haven't they? They've got all that money and they've they've just not spent it. Not spent it at all. Transfers then. Let's take a look through the transfers. We can see straight off. They've not spent at all in the transfer market. At all. I mean, that seems 
crazy to me, but they do let go of Saliba for uh, £12 million in the first season. And uh, Nicolas Pepe has gone to uh, Genoa. £141 million out the door. Odegaard has gone to Newcastle. Smith Rowe, Newcastle. And Kitchia has gone to Bournemouth. Levante has got uh, Maitland Niles. Reese Nelson, he's gone to Full. I mean, they decided to clear house by lots of things. Going through four points. Again, very reserved with their signings. Nothing really going out the door either. Um, Rob Holding's gone to Levante. Mark Renault's gone to um, Forest Green. Owusu's gone to... Okay, Liam Bailey. Okay, hang on a minute. <laughs> uh, 21 million. Right, okay, the spending's gone up a little bit. Uh, nobody big, though. 30 million pounds going out the door. Kubu there. I mean, to be fair, I'm not really too, too hot on the majority of the players for Arsenal, but... None of them rung a bell. Dest they've got on a free transfer. Conchalves as well on a free transfer. So they're doing shrewd business, I feel. £43 million out the door then. Fabio Vieira has gone to Dortmund for £39 million. I mean, there's nothing really happening uh, significantly transfer-wise. Yahor from Brentford, £22 million. Illich from uh, Kortjik, I think. I, I can't pronounce that. I do apologise again. £7.5 million. Uh, 75 million pound um, out the door. Jesus has gone to Real Madrid. Zinchenko has gone to Shakhtar. Conchalva has gone to Genoa. Aaron Ramsdale has gone to Leverkusen for a very cheap 1.7. It looks like they've cleared house. 2.4 million in, 12 out the door. Anything really? No, nothing really there. 42 million pounds spent. Um, get it in order. Gay, 60 million. Stanisic, 14, 25 out the door then. Yehor, Yarmolok has gone to Kiev for 4.6. They've only just brought him in. Alan Ramsey for 11 million. Liam Thompson from Ipswich, 40 million out the door. Martinelli, has gone to Man City for 20 million. Kieran Tierney, he's gone to Leverkusen, 14. Ibrahim Gay, he's gone. Dale Fry, he's gone as well. Two million pounds spent in the 31 32 season. Wow. Was it worth it? <laughs> 65 million pound going out the window. Stanisic is gone. Milanovic, he's gone as well to Lazio. 40 million pound for Manjak. Elliot Richards from Everton. Not an awful lot of money. Not an awful lot of money going out the window either. Anybody really? Uh, not really. We're getting into the 2030s. Again, nothing of significant note here at all. 30 million for Mooney from Watford. That's about it. Whether or not they uh, prioritise the debt, which looks like it has, because they are debt free now, which is uh, pretty good, uh, considering the other uh, teams are not at the moment. But yeah, it's nothing really significant here. 15 million pounds. I mean, they might spend some more money ne in the next season. They've got 100, uh, 100 odd million pounds to spend. But again, nothing great, really. 12 million out the door as well. I mean, some of these players now would have come in later on and they're sold on. Right, Man United. So they're in Sky Bet League One, would you believe? They've bounced all the way. Well, they've not bounced. They've dropped. How many divisions? We'll see how far they have gone. But let's have a look at the finances first. Nearly £200 million in the bank. They have got £100 million war chest. So they have got money there. But the question is, are they still in debt? And the question is, yes, £100 million in debt. And they did borrow £404 million, which they've still got to pay. And they're halfway through that. But they're a <laughs> fall from grace. 21-22 season, they did finish fifth. And then they just dropped down to League One. Did they get to League Two? No, League One's the lowest they've been. The Champions League, they didn't win, obviously. Uh, they didn't win any of the premierships. No, uh, Cup Winners Cup there. Europa League, nothing. Super Cup, nothing. FA Cup, no. They haven't won anything. Uh, Skybet Championship, no. Euro 2. Oh, they did win the Euro 2 2022 season. <laughs> That's just, uh, well, well done them. So they did finish second. I mean, they had four seasons in the Premiership in debt and then they just collapsed. First season in the Championship, they got relegated Finishing third from bottom, I think it is, or second from bottom. 
29 points, minus 4. I mean, that's that's embarrassing. Then they almost get relegated from League 1. Possibly not, though. Finishing uh, halfway. But they do win the, f uh, the following season with 80 points. Uh, then get relegated back down <laughs> with worse points, with less points than they did this uh, prior, prior one. My God. Uh, almost get relegated, finishing near the bottom. Then they find themselves getting into automatic promotion get into the championship and then relegated again, which they bounce straight back with 92 points. A couple of seasons in the uh, championship and finishing ninth. Looking at the transfers, um, now we thought Arsenal was bad. This is terrible. I need to have a look who our uh, owners are now. Right, the owners. Um, no longer the Glazers. That's good news. So when did the Glazers go? Uh, there's a takeover bid that fails in 24. Uh, another failed takeover. Um, oh, owner leaves. 2024. Maybe that's something we need to look forward to. But another two years of the Glazers. I don't think we could take that. But a new person, Langley, takes over. Local businessman. But this is uh, this is crazy. This is um, this is not good. So sixty million pound out the door. So it looks like we'll be concentrating on outs for a Man United. Then Malasia, he's gone to Brighton for eleven million. Scott McTominay's gone. He's gone to Norwich. Ahmed Diallo, he went for the Watford. Alanga, he's gone. Bailey's gone. Bissaka's gone. Williams has gone. Ham, Ham, I mean, there's a lot of players going. Okay, let's have a look at the following season. I mean, they're not buying, so. Uh, 166 million pounds gone. Varane, he's gone to Newcastle. Rashford has went to PSG. Sancho's gone to Real Madrid for 31 million pounds. Christ, it must have been a release clause on the um, um, relegation. It has to be. But then again, they're not relegated at this point. Harry Maguire, he's gone to Real Madrid. Goodness gracious me, Ericsson, He's. I mean, they've just lost. Everybody, haven't they? Bad looks things. Delo, he's gone. Lindelof. I mean, £775 spent on James Bent. Uh, just out of interest. I'm, I'm intrigued. I don't think we can see him, actually. Um, £96 million gone out the door. Martinez, he's gone to Derby. Bruno, he went to Atletico Madrid. Casemiro. Tellez. Pedestri. Oh, dear God. I mean, they've literally got rid of their um rid of the team haven't they that's uh that's outrageous i mean nothing really diago right phillips free transfer there Awusu. i mean free transfers i mean when they start free transferring wow short eye he's gone to stoke for 1.2 marshall he went to a uh, sheffield united on a free Two hundred ten thousand pounds spent wow they're really bringing the big bucks now aren't they six million pound out the door Donny van der Beek's gone to Verona. Uh, the following, I mean, nothing out the door, really. I mean, no, don't think so. Again, start to spend two, well, £275,000 steady on, boys. Two million out there. I mean, I don't think they've got anybody left to uh, leave, have they? That's just, uh, wow. Um, I'm going to just click through. If, if you want to have a look, then please pause the screen. But uh, this is... Um, Wow, this is not good at all. Who did the buy for £9 million? Briars from Wolves. Wow, okay. 15000 out the door. Again, their, their policies need improving, don't they, really? £14 million spent here. £6 million on Bull from Everton. And San, uh, Juan Martin Sancho from Arsenal, 2.2. Okay. Again, £6 million out the door. Who's gone? Penner. In the part exchange deal as well. Okay, nothing happening there. Um, still, I mean, five million pound out the door. There's, I don't. Mensa, he's gone. Fosu Mensa, he's left to Rapid Vienna. I mean, there's no, but there's nobody left, is there? This is uh, eleven million pounds spent. Whoa, steady on. What's going on here? Um, okay, Victorino from Derby. That's about it. Two million pounds spent there. One out the door. And, uh, oh, they do let go. £22 million worth of talent. Who's that then? Uh, Victorino, 4.6. They haven't really progressed at all. I mean, just have a quick look at their side. Just see what their sides looks like. But very, very um, poor. 
I mean, have they got anybody that we recognize? No. Well, that's disappointing. Right, let's have a look at the final team then, Spurs. So, United were bad. Let's have a look at Spurs. So, they're in the Sky Bet 1. I think they've just been promoted. So, financially, wow, we thought Arsenal were good. Tottenham, £807 million. £207 million to spend. And debt-free. They have still got to pay this debt off. But I think it's only Arsenal that are debt-free. But they did borrow half a billion pounds, though. Let's have a look. I mean, they did slump. Wow, okay. What did... League 2. They slumped all the way down to League 2. And they're fighting back now. They are in League 1 uh, now. But I think they've got themselves into the Championship now. Premier League... Europa, no, nothing. FA Cup, nothing. Nothing in this championship. Nothing in the Carabao. Community Shield, nothing. Uh, they did win the Papa John's Zone 2035. Um, these are just the lower league ones. Then. Well, okay, let's have a quick look at the competitions. So 2021, they did last quite a while in the Premiership, but they were sliding right near the bottom, though. And then you get to uh, the Skybet Championship. And then, wow, they just got relegated straight away, straight down to League Two. And now they're just, I mean, they were climbing. So they were slipped all the way down to 23rd in League One, 11th in League Two, 10th, 7th, climbing League One, 15, 10, 5th, which I believe they have just got promoted through the playoffs. So they're back in the championship now. I mean, with all that money, why are they still <laughs> lower leagues? I mean, they should be back in the premiership with that amount of money. That's mad. Right, okay, starting off with the transfers. And we can see straight away um, they did have a clear out. And then they haven't spent... Any, well, it looks like they've had no transfer activity for about six years. Six, seven years. What on earth? Okay, it's no surprise they've got £800 million in the bank. But that's just... Uh, okay. £9 million pound let go in the first season. Okay, that's fine. The following season, £99 million pound gone. Harry Kane's gone to PSG for £94 million. Pounds. Straight away, the one of the first people to go. £10 million pound spent. Pelestri from United and Kemp from United. I mean, they haven't really let go of anybody either, by the looks of things. Did they just run their contracts down? £90 million pounds spent here. Inacio from Real Madrid. £32 million. Pounds. Uh, Son's gone to Barcelona. And Skip went to Blackburn. They do get Tahith Chung from Coventry for 8.25. So let's have a look at Tahith Chung then from. He went from United. He went to Coventry on a free. Then Tottenham put <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes, that's what United do. Let players go out on a free. 37 million out the door though. 25 Basuma has gone to Man City. Bentico has gone to uh, Leeds. Um, okay, let's, let's keep going a little bit more. 35 million pounds spent this time round. Jazic from Man City. 26 million out the door. Emerson Royal, he went to Chelsea. Uh, Liverpool got Dean Henderson. When? Wow, did they get Dean Henderson as well? Unbelievable. Okay. Following season. And not, not really much no, happening here at all. They haven't really spent. I mean, £18 million pounds there. I mean, they've been very reserved. Any of them going out the door? door regulon's gone to brentford 1.5 nathan wood to preston okay keep keep it going for half a mil there 28 million pound out the door who's gone to heath john went to blackburn wow okay jazz it's gone to chelsea <laughs> and dombele he went to uh, dusseldorf for 1.8 i mean they're not really making any um nothing really happening at all if we have a look Quickly, 330,000, 125,000. I mean, nothing really of a note here at all. Anything going on? Of Anybody going on a free? No, nothing. Uh, again, 25. I mean, they've been pretty much reserved. No wonder they've collapsed all the way down to League 2. It's, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's um, that's bad. I mean, they've not bought anybody, not sold anybody. And they've got all that money sitting there. Just have a quick look at their squad, though. I mean, it's a big squad. Uh, Ryan Schofield, I mean, he's a, was a youngster, he's 36 years old now, worth nothing at all. Owusu, Robert, 21 year old, Billy Gee, no, I don't recognise anybody. We are 15 seasons in though, by the way, so these could be all regens. But let's have a look at the Premiership though, just very, very uh, 
quickly. So out of the 15 seasons we've done, only three teams have uh, stopped Man City from winning it. Newcastle, Liverpool and Villa. Who is in this uh, division now? Any Derby in there. We've got uh, Barnsley, Sheffield United, Middlesbrough there. I mean, there's no real shocks though, to be fair. Right, just before we go as well, we're going to have a look at the Champions League and Europa League, see who the past winners are though. But if we have a lot from the 21-22 season though, it's been Bayern Munich, PSG, Real Madrid, Barcelona and it's only Man City that have just won it in the final season. They have been in the final a few times as well, or oh, just the once actually to be fair, um, the season before, but they are getting back to best. But they have finally won a Champions League in the 35-36 season. The Europa League, Liverpool have won it three times, beating Man City in one of them as well. Okay, so around San Sebastian, we've got Barcelona, Roma, Leeds, one of the other English clubs to have won the Europa League. I think that's it though, Liverpool and uh, Leeds. That's it, wow, okay. Uh, Brighton do get to a final losing to Roma. Same with Leicester as well against Lazio. The English FA Cup then. Let's have a look. Man City, Liverpool are the uh, teams that have been winning it. Uh, Brighton, Newcastle, Villa, West Ham and Leicester have won it on other occasions. Wolves get into the final. Same with West Brom. Everton, Leeds. Villa again. Leeds again. West Ham. Middlesbrough get into the final as well. Wow. A lot of things have been happening but... To be honest, not much of a change really or much of a shift in what's been happening around. So um, that is, uh, that's absolutely mental. So this is where we're going to leave it. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it if you watched it right to the very end. Man City, Liverpool and Chelsea remain in the Premiership doing their uh, best to, uh, well, defeat all the odds. I mean, to be fair, Man City have just been spending money like they've never been in debt. Uh, all the other teams are still, well, including Man City, are still in some kind of debt to a loan agreement. But uh, bank balance wise, they've got money in there. It's only Arsenal that remain debt free. Man United struggling in League One. And Tottenham went all the way down to League Two, now find themselves in the Championship and remain the richest club out of the whole six with £800 million in the bank. I mean, that's just insane. So if you enjoyed this, please smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and you would like to see more of these sort of experiments. Let me know down in the comments if there's any in particular you would like to, uh, like to see. And until the next time, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.